Hi everybody, I'm Kim. Welcome to The Regretful Yarn Addict. So, <clears throat> yeah, it happened again. I don't know how. I don't know how. Am I like doing this in my sleep? Am I sleep shopping? Um, no, no, I'm not. <sighs> All right. So yeah, more yarn. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is, uh, the last of what I ordered from Hirschner's. What, in February when they were having that sale of, uh, packages of two for like six bucks, seven bucks. So this, this right here is the last of it. This had a ship date of like March 15th because it was out of stock. And now it's in and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll find something. I know I will make something with it. Anyway, it's um, Burnett Blanket Yarn, of course. 100% polyester, 220 yards, 10.5 ounces. This is Burnett Baby Blanket. Number six bulky. And it is the color Mountain Mist. It's just gray. And I have two. I'm sure I'll find something. The other one, I have this box sitting here. Right there. You see it? Right, right there. And it's a premiere box. And I'm pretty sure this is all um, chenille. Basic chenille. I, I, I almost said I love this yarn. And you know, I'm trying not to use that word. I really like using this yarn. It's, I think, a number. Of, we'll see when I get into it. But it's not as thick as this blanket yarn. And it works up really great when you're making amigurumi. Uh, the balls are small. They're not 220 yards, but they don't cost $12 a skein either. And I can get quite a bit out of one skein of this yarn. So let's just see what colors I ordered. Oh, well, I have a nice clear plastic bag for something. Ooh, that'll work nice when I mail out my, my giveaway for the Operation Collaboration Swap that I am doing with Christina at Una mm -mm, Bella Uncinetto. All right, so it looks like I got two of most. Okay, so this is, it's called the number six bulky, 112 yards, 100% polyester, but I don't know, I think this mountain mist is kind of thin because they're about the same. You know, some of that Burnett blanket yarn, depending on the color, is a lot thicker than others. Okay, so this is the color, should be white. Yeah, color 2126.01 white. And I have two. Looks like maybe these are just one-offs. 
This is the color sand. This is the color navy. I think these are one-offs as well. This is the color sea foam. That doesn't look bright. This is the color blush. I don't know about you guys, but when I blush, it's not this color. Ooh, bright red. Okay, and this, that's another really nice Pisces bag. This is the color eggplant. All the rest of these, I have two of each. This one is Caribbean, Caribbean. Looks more like a mint green. But you guys, this yarn, it, it's a chenille. But you know how, okay, like, Oh, Michael's, their, um, their blanket yarn sheds. It just, little pieces come flying off. And when you're trying to make a magic ring and you pull it, the whole end comes off and you're left with just that white stringy stuff. Doesn't happen so much with this. So, and these are like $4.99. They were not on sale, so I'm not going to be like, oh, I have to get this, um, this haul out. I just really wanted to use the yarn. So, I have to do this. So, anyway, this one is Caribbean, Caribbean, however you would like to pronounce it. And I got two of those. I love this color. This one is lime. Kiwi. Kiwi. This one is Bubblegum. Wouldn't that be cool? <gasps> Can't wait to make stuff. This one is lemon. I love this color too, tangerine. It is a really nice bright orange. And then the last one I ordered is bright violet. And I have two of these as well. So anyway, you get, what did I say, 112? 112 yards, 5.3 ounces, 100% polyester here. And they are $4.99. And I know you can get Burnett Blanket yarn in the smaller skeins as well for about 6 bucks. 
but I love this. I really do enjoy using this color. I mean, this yarn. It's just, it works up really nice um, for me. And you know, these are just my opinions. Don't rush out and buy it because, oh, Kim said it was great yarn. But if you like using chenille yarn, like blanket yarn, and you don't necessarily want the big, thick, bulky, I mean, it says it's a six, but it's not quite, when you, I can use a five millimeter on this, no problem. On this, I think the smallest I can go is a six or a 6.5, because just the way it works up. So, I mean, your amigurumis are a little smaller with this. But the stitch definition is fantastic. Uh, like I said, you could even do a magic ring if you want to. Um, usually it's pretty easy. Let's see. Yeah, really easy to find the end. And center pull. I'll just stuff that back in there for now. But, um... Yeah, I, uh, I really, I really like this yarn. This has become my favorite bulky yarn to use. Like I said, it's $4.99 and that's regular price. So it's not bad. And I do get quite a lot of stuff out of one of these skeins. I mean, if you're making something big, Maybe not so much, but for the small stuff like the uh, stingrays and the seahorses and uh, the axolotls, that kind of stuff, I can get quite a few out of this. I can get at least three or four out of one of these. So anyway, that is it. And my gosh, another nice plastic bag was on the bottom. Thank you, Premier. Because I will be having another giveaway for 1,500 subscri subscribers, but that won't be until May. Um, and it looks like we're going to hit it long before, well... By the middle of April, I should be at 15. Unless everybody decides to unsubscribe from me. <laughs> Don't do that. So anyway, that's my opinion on this yarn. And I do have space for it over there. Um, although I will be using this stuff up because I really like using it. I love the colors that it comes in. I like, like, I like everything about it. I have not found a reason not to like this yarn, which means that they will either um, quit making it or they will start charging, you know, $4 more skein for it or something because that's the way it goes. When I find a yarn I really like at a price point I'm comfortable with, they discontinue it. Or they make it in different size balls, skeins, whatever. And then it's like, pfft, whatever, dudes. But, um, okay, so that's it. And I do appreciate you watching. Uh, if you use this yarn, the Chanel Bright, um, Premier Basics Chanel Brights, let me know what you think of it. And, uh, if you've used this and some other smaller chenille, let me know what that is and which one you prefer. Because I, I'm, you know, I'm not like, I can only use this yarn. Blech. No, I, I, I can use different yarns. I, I don't have an affiliation or a you know, an obsession with any one particular brand. Uh, 
I just happened to find this one. When I Remember, I couldn't find black blanket yarn. So it was like I found the black in this. So thank you for watching. Again, I'm going to say that a five million times. Maybe that's an exaggeration. Thanks. Thanks for sticking with me, you guys. I appreciate that a whole bunch. And I, I think... I don't want to lie, but I think this might be the last yarn haul for a while. Although, look back there. On my worsted weight yarn, yeah, please. Got a lot of empty spaces and colors I need to get there, too. So that will probably be my next yarn haul, will be just worsted weight yarn. And as much as I really like... Joanne Big Twist. Uh, I'm making amigurumis with this stuff. And honest to God, Red Heart Super Saver is my favorite yarn to make worsted weight amigurumi with because it is stiff and it holds the shape really well. And uh, so, y'all have a good day, good morning, good evening, whatever, whenever, whatever it is when you're watching. Stay safe. We got some bad weather. I'm, I'm recording this on Sunday, Easter Sunday, actually. So I hope your Easter was wonderful if, if, you, um, if you observe Easter Sunday. If you don't, I hope your day was just well anyway. Uh, and we're supposed to possibly get some bad weather here in St. Louis today and possibly even worse on Monday. And this will probably go up Thursday or Friday, April 4th or 5th. So hopefully I'll still be here. <laughs> when it uploads um and hopefully my house will be standing and if my house is not standing and my yarn is all gone well you know what i'm glad i'm insured because i will be making huge huge yarn hauls if that was the case because i i ain't being without yarn you guys this might be all I want, but I want all of it. So later, Gators. Peace out.